Conservatives are furious about something Rachel Maddow had to say, even though the more you think about it, the more sense it starts to make as, and I'll show you the clip, but she lays out how MSNBC will only cover Trump speaking if it's newsworthy, as they can't trust him to lay out only factual information in his speeches anymore. Now, this of course comes in the wake of the Fox and Dominion lawsuit, where Fox had to pay $800 million for largely in part broadcasting Trump's consistent lies about the election. So let's play Rachel Maddow's clip to get her perspective and then we'll get into it. Of course, there is a reason that we and other news organizations have generally stopped giving an unfiltered live platform to remarks by former President Trump. It is not out of spite. It is not a decision that we relish. It is a decision that we regularly revisit. Um, and honestly, earnestly, it is not an easy decision. But there is a cost to us as a news organization of knowingly broadcasting untrue things. Now, while Rachel Maddow isn't the perfect beacon of journalism herself, there is definitely a vast difference between a news station having some bias or even pushing an agenda that ends up being false or incorrect and knowingly, the keyword knowingly, spreading misinformation. This is why Fox lost the Dominion lawsuit, differentiating from there hasn't been any lawsuits against MSNBC that they've lost. And a large part of Fox losing that lawsuit was broadcasting Trump's repeated, repeated election lies even after losing over 60 court cases, many of them being lost on evidentiary grounds. And hilariously, in the exact speech that Rachel Maddow is talking about they're not gonna show in that clip, Donald Trump does go on the lie saying that he won the Iowa caucus three times, of which he did not do. He won it once, but in all of his speeches, and we cover them a lot here, there's a lot of misinformation to get through, they're all filled with precisely that misinformation and just blatant lies. You can get away with misinformation to a certain extent, you know, you know how to play your cards. Trump did it for years. He did it for long enough. But when you're knowingly spreading lies in hopes to help yourself ascend to power, like when everyone in your administration, when over 60 court cases, when legal experts, when all these people are telling you, hey, the election was not rigged and you're still spreading, the election was rigged, it was stolen, it was this and that, just so you can have better a better chance come around this next election, that shouldn't go unchecked. And I, for one, am glad that MSNBC put him in check and will not let him continue spreading this misinformation without reigning in the bullshit. There should be some sort of a standard. He can go to Truth Social for that. He shouldn't be getting free press on national TV to spread misinformation and lies. This isn't a standard that we would hold anyone else to. You want to just have a random nobody come on Fox News, MSNBC, CNN, whatever one, come on national television and just spread lies. But because Donald Trump has what name value? His name value allows him to lie? No, he gets held to the same standard as everyone else. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. Because the only way we become a society is together.